wearing today. It looks like we might be in the mountains, but actually we're not. We're actually close to home. We're in Sanford, North Carolina at the old Gillum Mill Park. It's actually a privately owned park um, that has a lot of old cabins on it, the old mill, and it's really kind of peaceful out here. And Didn't know it was only like, what, 40 minutes yeah, from about, the house? About 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, it's just a kind of a random collection of old buildings and he's got trails kind of cut around the property we're gonna explore a little bit. And uh, like she said, an old mill, blacksmith shop, it's a covered bridge across the street, it's kind of wild, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna show you around and just uh, see what's out here on the property. the old Gilliam Mill Park and that's a it's kind of interesting to say the least mm -hmm. um, we had heard there was a waterfall there but that was not the case I think I could see where it was but the water was no longer uh, running but it is still kind of neat they got a lot of old machinery like a sawmill out there uh, old tractors buildings cabins so uh, yeah but that was uh, just one thing we we're gonna look at today we also want to get a little exercise in so we're going to head down back towards uh, Sanford to the uh, White Pines Nature Preserve. I guess there's a couple trails out there along the river, so we'll see you when we get there. Well, that presents an issue. Okay, so our plan was to do this river trail that goes down along the river and I guess some bluffs, but uh, as you see, there is a large tree that must have fallen during the storm. Um, none of the leaves are really dead yet. It's all green, so it's fresh fall. And it is completely blocking the trail. And I guess we could try to scurry through it. No. I don't have a chainsaw. It looks no. pretty thick, so. Um, we're going to backtrack the way we just came, and I think we're going to go uh, catch another trail called the School Kids Trail and see how that one is. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So we're actually really enjoying it out here. They keep the trails pretty well maintained. Um, it's nice. We're actually like I think on the third different trail since we started. Um, we started on the river trail, ended up on school kids, and now we're on what they call deep bluffs, which I think is actually gonna connect us to one other trail. So all the systems out here interconnected if you ever come out. But it's nice just to be in the woods, enjoy it, um, have a good time. So we're gonna head keep heading up this deep bluffs trail I think catch the other one it might be called old Gilliam trail which will take us back to the Jeep and then we need to find some lunch turtle in the road turtle in the road all right, we're gonna take you the way you were going there, Mr. Box Turtle. I'm sorry, but you can't be in the road. Run free, little buddy. Thank you. You can never drive past a turtle in the road without getting it, so. Anyway, now, on to lunch. having lunch at the Yarborough homemade ice cream and grill um, we actually found this spot this morning the local news channel 
um, featured them on the Traveler blog. So we came out here and had lunch and actually met the owners um, of the restaurant and had a conversation. So it actually has turned out to be a really um, great pick um, to come and eat. Best homemade ice cream you will ever put in your mouth. It is so good. I had the homemade banana pudding um, ice cream and Jason had the peanut butter cup ice cream. So delicious. We'll be back. As you said, that was delicious. It's also worth mentioning that it's been there since 1920 uh, and run by the same family, the Yarbrough's. Uh, I think they said it turned into an ice cream place or restaurant like around the 30s, but still. Uh, used to be a dairy, but it's really neat that the same family's been running it for, I guess, around 100 years now. And now since we did that, we're going to go uh, find something for us, me mostly, because mm -hmm. we did hike this morning. and. Post hiking, you know what that means. Oh yeah. So that was Hugger Mugger Brewing. Uh, I like it, recommend. So if you're ever out here in Sanford, worth stopping in for us, first time we've been there. But this is probably about gonna do us for today between lunch, the hiking, the beer. It's time to go home, take a shower, get cleaned up, and just be lazy. So maybe we'll see you later, and if not, we'll catch you next video.